Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about pros and cons of Bitcoin. So before starting, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Bitcoin, BTC, is a virtual currency, also known as a cryptocurrency, that is controlled by a decentralized network of users and is not subject to the whims of central banks or national governments. Although there are hundreds of cryptocurrencies in use today, Bitcoin is by far the most popular and widely used, the cryptocurrency closest to traditional, government-issued currencies. Bitcoin has value for other currencies and physical goods, just like traditional fiat currencies like the US dollar. Bitcoin, like all cryptocurrencies, is extremely volatile, far more so than most fiat currencies, but its overall value trend is upward. For example, Bitcoin nearly quadrupled in value over the 12 months ending May 1, 2021, rising from less than $9,000 to around $57,000 per BTC. What is Bitcoin and how does it work? Bitcoin is the most adaptable cryptocurrency on the market. It can be used to buy goods from an ever-growing list of Bitcoin-accepting merchants, including well-known names like Expedia, Overstock.com, and Tesla. It can be traded with other individuals as payment for services rendered or to settle outstanding debts. On electronic exchanges that work similarly to Forex exchanges, they can be exchanged for other currencies, both traditional and virtual. Unfortunately, it can also be used to facilitate illegal activity, such as the purchase of illegal drugs on dark web marketplaces like the now defunct Silk Road. Bitcoin units can be subdivided into decimals, which represent smaller value units. The Satoshi, or 0.0000001 BTC, is currently the smallest Bitcoin unit. There is no way to divide a Satoshi into smaller units. Bitcoin source code, on the other hand, is structured to allow for future subdivisions beyond this level if the currency's value rises to the point where it's deemed necessary. Despite its potential, Bitcoin remains a niche digital currency with volatile value fluctuations. Despite its zealous proponents' claims, it is not a normal investment or trading vehicle in the traditional meaning of the word, as are stable national currencies like the US dollar and the Japanese yen. To the degree that it is considered an investment at all, Bitcoin is squarely in the area of alternative investing, but, as we'll see, there are plenty of legitimate reasons to hold Bitcoin aside from the profit potential. Bitcoin's Origins and History Bitcoin's roots may be traced back to the early 1980s when the algorithms that underpin current cryptocurrencies were created. Bitgold, a proto-cryptocurrency created by Nick Sabo in the late 1990s, was its closest precursor. Although Bitgold never gained mainstream acceptance, it shared many characteristics with Bitcoin, such as impenetrable duplicate protections, the blockchain as the ultimate transaction log, public keys that identify individual users, and built-in scarcity. The birth and early development of Bitcoin. The first public record of Bitcoin was in October 2008, when Satoshi Nakamoto, a pseudonymous person or organization, published a white paper outlining the technical specifications for a new, decentralized cryptocurrency. Although suspicion centered on a handful of US-based individuals, or various combinations thereof, who were active in the cryptocurrency movement of the 1990s and 2000s, Nakamoto's identity remains unknown. In January 2009, Nakamoto released the open-source code for Bitcoin, signaling the start of public mining and trading, but he stopped communicating publicly soon after. Bitgold and B-Money, a contemporaneous cryptocurrency model that was never developed, provided the theoretical and technical underpinnings for Bitcoin. Its major claim to fame, aside from being the first cryptocurrency to achieve significant traction outside of the cloistered ultra-libertarian movement, is being the first cryptocurrency with completely decentralized control. In the world of Bitcoin, no single user has more power than another. In the early years of its existence, Bitcoin had some growing pains. In 2010, a software mistake resulted in the creation of massive amounts of unmined Bitcoin, causing the currency's value to plummet temporarily. The blockchain was then repaired, and the unauthorized Bitcoin was wiped. In 2013, something similar happened, but the consequences were less severe. Bitcoin's open source code has been changed to reduce the likelihood of future systemic issues. Advantage. It is quick and inexpensive. Sending any quantity of money takes simply a few minutes. It doesn't matter how much money you have or where you're going. 
Using your bank to relocate to another region of the world might be very costly. The cost is either low or non-existent when done in bitcoins. Bitcoins can be sent to any country on earth. Bitcoin, like the internet and email, is not bound by geography. Bitcoin is the first truly worldwide money because of this, as well as the promise that its users' rights would be protected. The ability to make payments is the most important benefit that Bitcoin traders receive from participating in the market. They have complete freedom to send and receive Bitcoin payments at any time and from any location. Furthermore, practically all payment methods are available, so you can easily select one to obtain a Bitcoin. Decentralized issuance is an advantage. Any government or central bank cannot regulate or value Bitcoin, and no government or central bank can generate or distribute it. Because Bitcoin is created by the people, it is depoliticized, reducing the influence that fiat money has over the populace. There is no intervention from a third party. Your coins cannot be frozen, charged, or demanded by anyone. They can't be taken or seized by the government under any circumstances. Bitcoin transactions, on the other hand, do not require any confidential information to be shared. Instead, they employ two keys, a public and a private one. Reduced fraud risks and transparency are two advantages. Bitcoins allow purchasers to conduct deals without providing the vendor with any private financial information. Bitcoins are similar to digital cash in that hackers are unable to obtain them in any way. Simultaneously, your genuine identity is permanently concealed. This will help to prevent targeted data intrusions like the one at the UPS store. Customers that use BTC benefit from anonymity because all of their information is kept private and preserved utilizing blockchain technology. Transparency, on the other hand, allows consumers to perform transactions at their leisure and without restriction. The beauty of BTC is that it allows users ultimate control over their funds, as well as the ability to keep them safe and secure. Another item to consider is that, because the entire transaction is based on blockchain technology, users may expect great levels of security. Volatility is a disadvantage. Bitcoin values are extremely volatile, rapidly rising and decreasing. Speculators seek to benefit from it, but legitimate investors consider it too risky, hence no one invests in Bitcoins. Investing in Bitcoin is unregulated. The lack of regulatory control is one of the most major disadvantages of investing in Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency legislation and taxes vary by nation and are frequently confusing or contentious. Unfortunately, a lack of restrictions can lead to fraud and fraud. The risk of loss is a disadvantage. If a hard drive crashes or a virus corrupts records, and the wallet file is corrupted, Bitcoins are effectively gone there isn't anything that can be done to reclaim it. In the system, these coins will remain orphaned indefinitely. This can bankrupt a wealthy Bitcoin investment in a matter of seconds, leaving him or her with no way out. The investor's coins will also be orphaned for all time. You can't protect your Bitcoins from human or technological faults. You will lose all of your Bitcoins if you make a mistake with your Bitcoin wallet. Unless you've backed up your wallet with a backup phrase code, you can't get it back, and they're gone forever. New economy and consumer protection are disadvantages. There could be problems in the Bitcoin framework that has yet to be uncovered. Because this is a new system, if Bitcoins were extensively used and a defect was uncovered, the exploiter might amass great wealth at the expense of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoins. Functionality is overseen by no regulating authority. As a result, you will be unable to complain to anybody else if you have any concerns or problems. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and also press the bell icon so that you can get notification about our new videos. If it was helpful then share it with others. Thanks for watching the video.